Lexington's Gray Line station is starting to take shape. Its first few tenants have moved into the space at Loudon Avenue and North Limestone, with many more on the way. LEX 18's Kristen Edwards catches up with one business in the marketplace to see how it's managing, especially after new restrictions that were put in place Wednesday. It takes guts to open a business okay. during a pandemic. You're all set. Do you need a bag? But it's a risk Laura Clay was more than willing to take. She opened Laura Lou's Patisserie at 7 a.m. on Thursday. There was somebody waiting at 6.50. I was not ready at 6.50 for somebody to be waiting on me, but it was a really awesome feeling. The day before, the governor had announced new restrictions limiting her to carry out. Clay was okay with the change. By opening a business, in the pandemic, I didn't want to encourage gathering, so this is a good thing because now I'm able to graciously ask people to come in and walk right back out instead of hanging around and potentially spreading the virus. And right next door, Old North Bar is also set to open soon, but it won't quite be the opening that owner Wes Hogan had bargained for. With the recent restrictions, that soft opening has become really kind of a, a little bit more of a a soft, soft opening. Instead of seating bar goers inside, they can grab drinks to go. Hogan wanted to make more of a splash, but he supports the state's decision and is willing to make the sacrifice. We certainly understand the need to, to do that so we can all get past COVID and have this be something that's behind us. Uh, just makes it a, just another challenge in the, in the uh, process of opening a small business. Once that challenge is overcome, he and Clay will be part of the vibrant public marketplace at Grayline Station. In Lexington, Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News.